the question is when uh, since the, the rich they have money to give if the poor is given uh, to uh, according to what he has like say percentage for example he give half of his wealth which is one dollar versus someone that half of his wealth is a million dollars so uh, would then the poor would get the same rewards most of the things that people talk about the difference between the poor and the rich is only to uh, in a in a very tight and a narrow uh, amount of people for example but most of the time everybody are equal the same and there's a hadith of the prophet ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam seven dirham 100 dirham one dirham surpassed went ahead of 100 dirham the one dirham was given when a person was in need of it versus someone 100 dirham 100 he did not need it that much so the one that gave the dirham he got more rewards because he was in need of it and he sacrificed when he gave like the same concept and the debate of who's better the one that is rich and grateful versus the one that is poor and and patient uh, it's it's always the answer is the one that is doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from him is what is best but the issue is if they're both at the same level so someone is rich and he's mashallah very grateful to Allah and doing his duties and recommended acts and charity and so on and someone that is poor and he's very patient and pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if once people they reach no one is perfect of course but they perfected the ubudiyah to Allah the worship of Allah with whatever state that they're in now we can talk who is better but most of the people they don't uh, they might have money but not they did not reach the level where they perfected their iman or someone poor uh, he's patient but he did not perfect his iman perfect your iman and follow the way the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then we can discuss I mean, in a sense that you would find only the the less number of people they this so but uh, and that's why the, it's spacious for everyone and every, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful and with one's intention a person can surpass uh, the people by his intentions if he has this he would give this and he's truthful and that's why he's act upon that